It is my very great pleasure to welcome the first modern era inductee into the Canadian Songwriters Hall of Fame and one of Canada's greatest artists to now induct Burton and Randy, Gordon Lightfoot. Great show, great show. Great show. They're, they're schmoozing over it backstage. I got a real special job here tonight and I'm gonna to do it right now. I'm gonna introduce a couple of songwriters. who could be considered the foundation of the rock scene in Canada. Together as a team, they wrote just about every hit the guess who ever had, and it all took place back in the late 60s. The eponymous nine. As their recognition grew in North America, the world began to take notice, opening doors for many other Canadian artists and songwriters. Later on as individuals, they would of course write many more hit songs as was to be expected of them. But tonight, we are honoring five co-written songs from the Guess Who era. These Eyes, No Time, American Woman, No Sugar Tonight, and New Mother Nature. A couple of points of interest. They bear the common distinction of having been asked not to sing American Woman at the White House. <laughs> In the 70s, Randy gave us a Brave Belt and BTO and Taking Care of Business and more great songs. In the mid-70s, Burton went solo and right off the bat he had Stand Tall, a wonderful song. I still remember where I was when I first heard that one. <laughs> then he wrote the song Melanie for the movie and took a job as an actor. Did four solo albums. Randy, the consummate musician, is simultaneously written for and produced many other artists. Word came down one time Burton was doing his Gordon Lightfoot routine on stage. <laughs> People would come up to me on the, literally on the street and say, have you, have you seen it, have you heard it? And I'd say no. And so we went down to the Royal York Hotel one night to see it and guess what? He didn't do it. They both spent a lot of time encouraging others, and Randy eventually wrote his autobiography. Burton did an astonishing solo version of the National Anthem of the Great Cup one year. Did anybody see that? Just him and the keyboard? Just magnificent at the Great Cup game. Without the benefit of wardrobe failure, It was cold out there. <laughs> and a stint with Ringo Starr and the All-Stars, so it's not like they haven't been <clears throat> doing anything, is it? <laughs> so they were working and performing and getting better the whole time. Please welcome Randy Bachman and Burton Cummings.
Um, it's, uh, it's been a remarkable day today, hanging out with all these <clears throat> in, incredible legends backstage. And um, I, I know we don't have a long time, but I, I would like firstly to thank my mother for the piano lessons and, um, and all the support and the faith that she had. When I dropped out of high school, she didn't flip out. She said, well, chase it. If you got the dream, chase it. So Rhoda, thank you for everything. <clears throat> Um, and I share this proudly with our hometown of Winnipeg because we wrote all the songs in Winnipeg. And uh, one final thing, um, about 1967 we were in Montreal doing some kind of promotion. We were still with Quality Records. One of the record reps took us to a small coffee house. There were about 60 of us in the audience. Out came Mr. Lightfoot with John Stockfish and Red Shea. He did an entire 90-minute show of his own original material. Randy and I sat there nudging each other in the ribs and said, one day, man, we'll That's be true. able to do that. One day. <laughs> this guy has been an inspiration to us from day one. Thank you, everybody. Um, this is absolutely wonderful. Never been as proud as I am to be a Canadian as this evening. Thank you so much. I guess like all of us, I've got to thank my parents for the music lessons. Mine was violin, and later I thank Lenny Bro for the guitar lessons. Um, grateful to meet this guy who was born to be wild when I was born to be mild, and together <laughs> we put something out that was kind of magical. I'm really thrilled at that. Um, it's all about the song, and we had a dream of writing great songs, and this kind of, I think, says we wrote some good songs. <laughs> To the man who made the songs, Jack Richardson made him sound good. Yes. We wouldn't, we really, we, we, we wouldn't have this tonight without Jack and his unbelievable um, inspiration and the way he pushed us. And when, when I would do a good vocal track or Randy would rip off a great solo in the studio, Jack would go into the approval boogie, which went something like this. Yeah. <laughs> There it is. <laughs> um, uh, the, the late Ben McPeak did some fantastic string arrangements on these eyes and, and Sour Sweet and Al McMillan's, the, all the people at Nimbus 9. Uh, we can't get carried away here, but really and truly, this is a magnificent evening. I, neither of us takes this lightly. This is a wonderful culmination of a lot of work and a lot of magic and an awful lot of luck. Thank you. This award for tops them all. For this is right on the, the top of the About list. the song. Thank you. Thank you all very much. Thanks.